towards the light. It's all about thousand niggas riding solo. Uh, this is kind of like the setup I am looking at when I would want to use this particular diffuser to spread the light. Currently, the ideology behind light spread is such that when the light hits this particular diffuser, it's going to spread towards the edges just so that I get much more light hits on my subject. Today's video, we'll be learning about one light. I think I want to go on like a full course one light journey, help people who have only one light source to maximize how they can use the one light. Think about the inverse square law. The inverse square law is going to play a major role in here. And the simplest explanation for the inverse square law is um, with distance, the light intensity on your subject reduces. You understand? So if I have this closer to my subject, relative to my subject, the size, this is quite bigger than my subject. And the positioning of the light source, which is going to be behind this particular modifier, will determine how hot or how um, evenly spread out the light will be. I am going to maximize one light today in the sense that we'll be using um, a diffuser to enlarge a light source. I, I had this question last year when I asked something about one light and someone hinting that how can you use a smaller modifier, a smaller light source to light up a full body portrait where you have even light spreading around. Hallelujah. To my right, you have the 85 centimeter white rice bowl from photo box. And the left is a diffuser from my five in one, six feet reflector. This year, this season, whatever it is, whatever it is we have been, we'll be doing here on my YouTube channel will be more of practicing together rather than me telling you, oh, hey, this is the right thing to do. Because I prefer I prefer you learning yourself and learning with me as I am doing whatever it is I'm doing. At the end of the day, I'll discover something new. I'll keep it to myself. And you also discover it to yourself and you keep it and use it as one of your arsenals. Come and, come and say hi to my people. Come and say hi to my people. Can I? Can I touch you? Yeah, this is Belinda. Let me remove this first. Yeah, this is Belinda. You guys know whenever I bring a Nigerian to my set, she's a Nigerian, she's not Ghanaian. She's Belinda. What's the other name? Belinda, okay. Okay. Oh, Benua, okay. Okay. Ah, it's O-K-E-H. Okay. Okay, okay, it's a noun. That's what you all see. If they don't know how to pronounce it, it's a noun. All right, this is Belinda. We've been planning to shoot for almost two years now. It's today that she's in my house that we are coming to shoot. So, what what are your expectations? And I hope the pictures come out well. Everybody hopes the pictures come out well. Wait, you you always shoot the photographers. You even learn anything from their sets? Not really. Mm, no. Hold on, let me finish this and you take it off. Um. Yeah, finally she's in a full gear. See how you. No, what do you think of it? Say hi again. Um, what I want, what I want to test right now, is to show you how this modifier. So currently, you want to figure out how to light a full body, like I've said in the other um, videos or my introduction. All right. So take a step back and a little bit this way. Keep in mind the distance. So let me see if I open a wing, a wingspan, right? So. Oh. Roughly a wingspan. I'm going to move a little bit this way, not too much. Yeah. The light is feathered, shooting at 1 over 32 plus 7, ISO 100 F4. And I want to take a sample full shot. So, this is. So, what? I'm taking test shots, right? So, the posture you're going to be in, be for all the other shots. So, if you're going to do those, your portrait, um, what do you call it? The portfolio shots. Model this one. Yes. I've forgotten how you people call that thing. So this is a full body shot with this smaller modifier. I'm going to grade it. Sorry. Grading your modifier 
focuses your light. Focuses your light onto one point. So when I get it, it's just going to fall on her face. I'm going to take the same shot again. A full body shot. Let's go the same. Take another shot just to be safe. I like to take two shots whenever I'm shooting, just to be safe. So the second shot in comparison to the first one. The first one spreads the light around. The second one focuses the light onto the upper part of the body. Now you're losing light down here. I want to show you how you'll be able to light a full body portrait with just one light. And just so that you, you'll be able to move You'll be able to have light from top to bottom. There are ways to do that. You can either choose to bounce the light at your ceiling. Currently, I have my studio painted white, so I can bounce it anywhere and I'm going to get a full light falling off my subject. Secondly, you can get a bigger modifier. So there are seven feet parabolics, there's a 150 soft boxes, and all direct and indirect. So you can pick your poison. If you have a smaller modifier like the H5 like I have now or you have a flash and you have a cone this is how best you'll be able to modify that light to you know expand the spread so this is what I will do let me set down the camera it's a quick and easy tutorial reduce the height Okay. So same setting, I haven't changed anything. Let us face it again. Take a full body shot. All right. What you're currently seeing is the light being cut down because of the diffuser. So I'm going to increase the light source to one over eight. Let's start from one over eight. Right. Mind you, we have a grid on, so the grid is focusing the light onto one point. I'm deciding. That's a 1 over 8. Let's send it to 1 over 4. So there's a 1 over 4. And when we compare this to the earlier version of Whitham, just the 85, you realize there's a better spread of light as compared to the earlier one. I'm going to take off the grid because the grid is just focusing the light on me. So take the grid off. All right. Okay. Take the grid off. Same flash power you see how bright that will be. And that's how bright it is. So I'm going to cut down on the light to say 1 over 16. One over 16 is too low, so I'll go 1 over 8. Yes, and 1 over 8 gives me the required spread of light I want. So this is how you're able to spread your light or shoot a full body portrait with just one light source if it's coming from a small pinpointed source. Mm. I'll take a couple more shots when I end this video and I'm going to put it at the end of the video just so you see how versatile you can move your light around. The face, chin up.
Yeah, do that. Do what you just did. Bro, I want you to lean on the chair. You just open your brain. That's like it. Okay, that one also works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And close your eyes. Thank you so much for joining in on today's video. It's been fun. I learned a few things today. I learned what flash power to put on when I am shooting at F4, ISO 100, and all that. What did you learn? Let me know down in the comment section below. Oh, I like the makeup. Oh. Looks very good. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. I'll leave everyone's handle down in the link. I mean, I'll link everyone's handle down in the description box below. Also, make sure you check out my digital store. My digital store is very, very important to me. You guys don't know. You do a lot for me when you buy stuff from my digital store. So I'm going to leave it down in the description box below. I hope this year I give out more stuff, more freebies, and, you know, more products to help elevate and better your craft. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We're using most of the cheaper stuff that we have in the industry. Currently, the 6D is like the entry level. Um, 6D is like the entry level full frame that we have in the system now. And I made sure to go get a Canon 85 1.8, the yellow ring or the gold ring, as people will put it. Just to show you, you really don't need a lot of, you know, expensive gear to create what you need to create.